In the biblical account of creation, Hashem declares, Na'ase Adam, betzalmeinu, kidmuteinu, let us make man in our image, in our form. Why the plural? The Midrash in Breshit Rabbah explains that at that point, Hashem consulted with the celestial forces above. And actually, there were four prime angels at that time. They were Chesed, loving kindness, Emet, truth, Shalom, peace, and Tzedek, justice. So God said to the four of them, should I create people? Chesed, loving kindness, said, of course you should, God. There will be so many ma'asim tovim, wonderful, good, and kind deeds that will be performed on earth. Emet, truth, said, no, God, don't create people. This world will be filled with falsehood and lies. And then Hashem said to Shalom, should I create people? And peace said, no, don't. The world will be filled with hatred, with friction, with tension, with wars and conflicts. And then Hashem turned to Tzedek and justice replied, yes, you should create people. After all, we should give them the benefit of the doubt to prove themselves and you will see that there'll be a propensity amongst mankind to be just. Now, if you've been adding up the votes, you'll realize that it was a two-old draw. So what did Hashem do? The Midrash then quotes Daniel chapter 8, Hishlich emet arza. God cast truth to the ground. And therefore it was a 2-1 victory for the creation of mankind, and the rest is all history. And I've been intrigued by the fact that Hashem sent truth out of the room and not peace out of the room. After all, both of them were against the creation of people. And I think that there's a profound message here, and that is, in the presence of truth, truth will always prevail. If you are a single solitary voice, if you know that what you're standing for and what you're upholding is the truth, then it doesn't matter that there could be a wave of indignation or those who are put against what we stand for. If we know in our heart of hearts that we are right, then ultimately our view will prevail. And all of this is actually represented by the word emet. Truth stands. Aleph mem tough in emet. The aleph has two legs, the mem has two legs, the tough has two legs. However, with Sheker, you know, the shin written in the Torah is pointed at the bottom, a bit like a spinning top. And then the kuf has just one leg and the resh has one leg. Sheker, falsehood, will always topple over. So therefore, the message for us is that truth will always stand. Let us therefore uphold the truth. Let's consult with others. Let's consider what the best path is. And ultimately, if we know that something is absolutely correct and right, the truth will always prevail. Shabbat Shalom.